And some wild claims about bizarre behavior inside the Miramar Brig from a male inmate against female guards and a counselor. Sources confirm that the Navy has opened an investigation. And 10 News reporter Michael Chen reveals the eye-opening claims and why the inmate's attorney believes it's part of a much bigger problem. The Miramar Brig is home for some 400 inmates, men and women. And according to a former inmate, it also houses a sex problem. Attorney John Hafman. The environment at the Miramar Brig shocks the conscience. Hafman's client is Shane Bardis, a discharged Marine in the third year of a five-year sentence for raping two women. Two of those years were served in the Miramar Brig. It is not safe to be incarcerated there. According to a 16-page statement from Bardis, he was sexually assaulted, embarrassed, and humiliated by the prison staff charged with my rehabilitation. In 2012, he says he told a female Marine guard, F you. Her response, okay. Where? Bardis claims there were 10 sexual encounters with her in places without cameras, including a sally port. He says she also gave him pictures of her in a black thong. Bardis also alleges sexual encounters with a work supervisor, a female sailor, once in a closet, and a relationship with a counselor. Bardis contends he agreed to some of the encounters and not to others. Federal law criminalizes any sexual contact between prison staff and inmates. It does so because the law recognizes the incredible imbalance of power in that relationship. This man is a convicted rapist. Why should we believe anything he has to say? Shane's allegations are supported by the NCIS investigation. Hafen says he's talked to investigators. Sources confirm the probe is underway. In May, a federal report determined that staff sexual misconduct at the Miramar Brig is twice that of prisons nationwide. Hafen blames a lack of supervision on both sides of these walls. Hafen says the Navy dismissed Bardis' initial complaints, which led to him being assaulted four more times. He was eventually transferred to a South Carolina brig, and Hafen is now appealing for an early release. Navy investigators declined to talk about any charges that may be coming, and a Navy spokesperson told me no changes in brig policies are planned. Michael Chen, 10 News.